Ian Maud played a key role in turning web content into cash as a VP for AOL Europe. And these days, he's an online media specialist at Enders Analysis. I'm pleased to say you, you were in the report there and you're with us now. Hi. Great to have you back. Thanks for coming Thank in. You. So I guess for film studios, video on demand could be a very lucrative opportunity, but for the cinemas, it's a threat to their business. Yeah, absolutely. That's exactly right. I think that there's a conflict of interest. Obviously, the cinema owners don't want anything that's going to come in that's going to threaten the, you know, the, the opportunity for people to go into the cinema. The studios, on the other hand, they've got the twin threat of online piracy and also the fact that people are buying fewer DVDs. So they have to experiment with new business models like premium on demand, as they're doing in, in the US. So you know, coming in with much earlier releases on uh, video on demand than they have traditionally. Because right now the cinemas get an exclusive release window of four months, That's don't right, they? Yeah. So uh, will this move? How much could it then reduce box office potential of new releases? Well, that's the, that's the billion dollar question. Nobody really knows. Um, you know, do people go to the cinema because they want to get out of the house and actually have a kind of big cinema theatrical experience? Or is it just because it's only available to watch at the cinema for that four month period? So obviously, uh, if there's an opportunity to sit on your sofa and watch the same movie at the mm. same time as it's out in the cinema, some people are going to choose to stay at home, that's for sure. So the, the theatre owners are obviously very concerned about that. But, yeah. but as you said earlier, the, you know, the, the, the studios really don't have any choice. Their businesses are, are, are struggling and they need to um, come up with some new ideas and see what, you know, see what works. Yeah, as you say, it's about offsetting a decline in revenue from DVDs and, yeah. and sales of DVDs. And, and you mentioned internet piracy as well. I'm, I'm just curious, is this something that is already happening? Are we getting a lot of illegal downloading on the web? So you know, it's all right, the cinema is already losing out to an extent, but this way the film studios get to profit from it. Yeah, I think that's exactly right. And the, and, the, and the cinema owners also need to change their business models because there's also a shift by the studios away from big, big movies. Their, their investment strategy is moving more towards TV series, mm. which obviously is of no benefit to the cinema owners at all. So, but uh, I think a lot of the cinema owners are, are re trying to reinvent themselves as entertainment venues. So you're seeing a lot more of them showing opera, live sports events, all those sorts of things. And I think yeah, the, the reality is that probably the film business is going to be smaller in the future than it has been you know, up till now. That's a Really? So, absolutely. so what do you think it'll look like in, say, five to ten years from now? Smaller. Smaller? Yeah. Would that, that, but you don't fewer, need fewer films coming out? Fewer, fil fewer yeah. big films, fewer films generally. Uh, I'm just, we've got right now four of the six Hollywood studios, right? Universal, Sony, Warner Brothers and Fox. Mm. They are going to offer films to rent at $30. Through Direct TV, which yeah. is the big satellite operator in the US. Do you think, do you think they'll make, is this going to provide a significant boost to revenue? Will people pay that? Uh, no, I mean, nobody really knows. You know, will people be prepared to pay $30 up front versus, you know, five, ten dollars on mm. YouTube, on uh, iTunes a, f a few months later. Yeah. Nobody really knows. I, th I think it's probably niche. In the long term, I think, uh, you know, there'll be a decent market there, but it's, it's not going to happen overnight. It's not going to happen overnight. It's very much like the recorded music industry. It's going to take time to build this up. Okay, excellent. Ian Maud, Enders Analysis, great to have you in the studio. Pleasure. Thanks very much.